the growth of the international mixed martial arts federation over the last 10 years is, is really unprecedented. After the 2014 championship, we knew that in order to progress, we needed to increase the numbers of national federations. Initially, the biggest challenges were how, how people viewed the sport. I think when I started, we probably had 25 or 30 members, and now we're up to 140. When it started, you know, we were supported by UFC and sponsored by UFC, so we did the World Championship 2014, 15 and 16 in Las Vegas. Meanwhile, MMA was a new sport that started to develop in, in the Middle East and uh, the Prince of Bahrain. Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Khalifa was a big fan, so he had interest in hosting the World MMA Championship in his country, Bahrain. This is where everything changed. So you, you started seeing Saudi coming in, Kuwait coming in now, UE coming in, you know, all the regions started to follow. I started with the IMF in 2014 when I joined the Indian Federation that time. And way back from 2015-16 till now, I think the Federation has literally grown leaps and bounds. I think the grassroots movement that has been created in MMA over the last 10 years has been really essential, both in terms of recognition of the sport, but also the spread. So if we look back at the history of IMAF and uh, an organization called WAMA, okay, which is the World Association of Mixed Martial Arts, they both started at the same time in 2012, like, almost without knowing about each other. And IMAF was very much, a, let's call it West Europe. It was Swedish originally, and WAMA was very much Russian, so it was a Russian founder, and they were operating effectively in Russian-speaking countries or in, in the East. IMF and WAMA merged in 2018, basically bringing together the best out of two organizations. Which was important because then we got to be one federation uh, instead of two major players on the market. We were the biggest, but we more or less had the West and the world, and they had the East. We have around 140 national federations as our members right now. This is a crazy number. 45 of them are already officially recognized. So our plan for the nearest future is to get as many officially nationally recognized federations as possible and to continue our development and expansion into the rest of the world and bringing all the national federations together at our international events, uh, which is followed by the recognition by GACEF, by whoever else needs to recognize us. We're going to get there and we're going to the Olympics.